You think she'd marry me, Henry? I, I never realized that your feelings for Vanessa ran in that direction. Well, uh, it's true we've had our difficulties in the past, but ever since she came back to Spalding Enterprises, uh, I've come to see her in a new light. Uh, we work well together. And uh, Lord knows she's an incomparable hostess. <laughs> and she is a Chamberlain. It'd be a wonderful match. Do you love her? I respect her. You haven't answered my question. Henry, I'm sure in time that we would come to love each other. But right now, I need someone with whom I can live comfortably. I'm not sure Vanessa would settle for that. Well, after what she's been through with Billy Lewis, I would think she'd welcome it. Henry, do I have your permission to speak to Vanessa? <laughs> You don't need my permission, but I think you ought to be forewarned. I don't think Vanessa is ready to give up on love. I want you to stay with her until the wedding, but come on, you know, we said we weren't going to be apart in you, right? Philip, Philip, you heard what she said. I know. What could I say? I could understand if it were going to be a couple days, but this is three weeks. Come on. Philip, I don't want to be apart any more than you do, but we do need time together. I know. I still have to tell her. Well, when are you going to do that, honey? Come on. Soon. But even when I do, it's gonna take a while for us to work it through. We need to be together to try to deal with it, if we even can. You know you can. You're dealing with it, she's gonna be able to. That's why I have to be with her. Well, what can I say in the face of such irrefutable logic? Good. Besides, those three weeks are just gonna fly right by. Oh, yeah. They will not, and you know it. Hey, you don't envy Beth, do you? What, because huh? she's getting married? Yeah. <laughs> Heck no. Married life is the last thing I want right now, huh? I I'm much too young to be tied down. Uh, and there's no chance of me looking like that. At least till I'm, I'm past 30. <laughs> oh, boy, I get tired so easily. Oh. Only you've got good reason to tire. Oh, but I can't even make it through one dance anymore. Oh, don't worry, honey. It won't be long now. You'll put on your dancing shoes and uh, really cut a rug, huh? I wonder if Stacy will ever be able to dance. I wonder if she can even hear music. Nola, listen. You don't have to be able to hear music in order to dance. You know, Quentin, I think we should take Stacy to see a specialist as soon as possible, because she may have a lot of catching up to do. Then there'll be no holding her back, huh? Yeah. I love you. Would you like something to drink? Um, let me see. I'll have a tall glass of milk on the rocks. You got it. <laughs> Excuse me. That looks like... No, no, it can't be. You just can't ignore him, can you? Sorry. I need a refill. Ross, uh, I'll get it for you. All right. And tell the bartender not to water it down like he did the last one, all right? Do you ever ask a stranger to dance? Are you kidding? All the time. <laughs> oh, this is my kind of party. <laughs> oh, it can't be. What would 
would he be doing here? No. What? Look, what do you say we go to the bar? The red wine they're serving is real fine, huh? Nola! Honey, I still can't find your sister. Mom, did you see that man that Hillary just left with? No, I wasn't looking at anybody, dear. I was too busy looking for more. He looks so familiar. Come on, Mom. come on, help me find her. Come All on, right. Nola. You're very light on your feet. Only when I'm with a man who knows how to leave. Ah, uh, you say the right things. <laughs> Good evening, Ross. Nice to see you. Yeah, Vanessa, terrific party. Thank you. <laughs> You're not a friend of Alan's, are you? Uh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> Frankly, I hate the man. <laughs> hey, uh, waiter. Look, man, I got a problem. Maybe you could help me out. You don't belong here, kid. That's your problem. Now, back to the parking lot, okay? Man, I said I got a problem. Look, some dude left his par car parked right in front of the parking lot entrance. He took the keys. No cars can get in or out. So you better make an announcement, Look, man. I am not going to interrupt these festivities by making announcements of license plate numbers. Now, if you want to find out whose car that is, why don't you just go up to each and every member and guest here and ask them, okay? Good luck, kid. Hey, no way, Jack. Maybe you're right. Huh? Oh, Trish. Trish, did you get that? Oh, thank you. I don't mind if I do. Um, you want that mask lady? Oh. I have no idea, but she's one terrific dancer. Uh -huh. Yes, I noticed. Oh, Philip, Beth. Yes. Uh, congratulations on your marriage, or thank your impending you. marriage, or your engagement, or thank whatever you. it was you announced up there. I'm very happy for you. Well, whatever <laughs> it is that you're congratulating us for, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Philip. Uh-huh. It's time for us to have that man-to-man -man talk. Hmm? I know about the birds and the bees. <laughs> this is serious, serious. Come on, come on. Uh-oh. This uh -oh. could take a while. Uh-oh, it's right. Vanessa, there's something I'd like to ask. Vanessa? I just can't stand it. What's that? Look at that woman. Did you see her? She's disgusting. She's all over Billy. Well, are you having a good time? Sweetie, I'm having the best time of my life. Um, but I got a funny feeling that a lot of people aren't. So uh, if you'd excuse me a minute, I think I got to go tinkle. Mm -hmm. Care to dance, my lady? Okay. <laughs> Remember me, princess? something, John. I'm sorry, honey. It's just that I have a lot on my mind tonight. That's all. Oh, Dr. Stevens. Hello, Hillary. Hi, Chamberlain. Chris. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. I was wondering if we could perhaps have a word in private. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, everyone else has had their conference with you tonight. Oh, waiter, waiter. Here, we'll get the Thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Oh, I get one. Yeah. Philip! Yes. <laughs> Here's yes. to you and your marriage. Thank you. May they both last a long time. A lot longer than you will. You keep knocking them back like that. I'm the one giving the advice here, all right? Because I'm the one with the experience I to give the advice. Right, I, I do the listening. My advice to you is never take advice from anyone. <laughs> Sorry, waiter! <laughs> yeah, another round for my nephew and his uncle. <laughs> oh. You what? 
You lost the necklace. Don't worry, Dr. Stevens. I'm sure it's around the house somewhere. Well, I, I, I just wanted you to be apprised of the situation. Yeah, well, it better be around that house someplace. I need that necklace, Mr. Chamberlain. It's a clue for the cure for this disease, the disease of the dreaming death. It has to be.